Okay, so so let's solve the basic problem. The basic problem here is that of course this thing leaves the ground and hits the ground again, right? So our vertical displacement is zero because we start and end at the same place, right? Uh, these are the components of this vector. So this is 25 cos, 57. This is 25 sine, 57, right? So those are our components. Notice that we start going up at 20.967, that being the side of this vector. We end up, we hit the ground going down at that speed, right? Uh, we've got the acceleration of gravity. We've got that we're not accelerating horizontally. So therefore, this horizontal component, the 13.616, is our horizontal, right? So what time is the rocket in the air? Well, you know, let's use, we could use anything with a T in it. I'm going to use this guy, V is U plus A T. But you could also, by the way, use S is U T. Try it. That's one half A T squared. Looks like it's not going to be easily solvable. But since S is zero, you can divide both sides by T. And I think you get uh, zero is uh, 20.966. Plus one half negative nine point eight one times t. So I, what I did there was I plugged in the um, and this was times t, right? And this was t squared. But I divided both sides by t. You end up with that. That's easily solvable. I always choose this one though, right? So get the time. The time should be about four point two seven. Bring it across here. Don't round it, right? And then all you ever do on this side is s is u t, right? So you're going to multiply this guy by whatever you got for the time, the 4.27 thing, yeah? All right, hope that helps.